Your Albert account grants you access to over 290 subjects and 160,000 questions. With Albert's Assignment Builder feature, finding content relevant to your students across the library is a breeze. You'll want to begin by clicking on the Assignment Builder from the main blue toolbar at the top of your page. To create a new assignment, click Add Questions. You can sort through Albert's extensive content library by applying the various filters you'll see on the left-hand side of your screen. To search for state standards, select the standard filter. Narrow your search down by clicking Standard Set and typing in your state. From here, choose the specific standards you're looking for. Once you've made your selection, scroll through your selected state standards. You can also search on the right-hand side by standard code or description. Once you've made your selection, click Apply. Right now, I've searched across the entire subject library. If I'd like to narrow my scope to particular subjects, I'll select Choose Subjects and type in the subject I'm looking for. Once I've found my subject, I'll have some options. I can choose to include the entire subject or just specific topics within that subject. I'll save my choices by clicking Apply. I can now choose to hide assessment questions or questions I've previously assigned. I can also choose to narrow my search to a particular difficulty level or filter by question type. I'll now be able to show my results. From here, I can browse through my results, clicking through each question to preview it and view its detailed narrative feedback. I can choose to add all of the questions or select just a few. I'll click back to assignment to review my assignment. I could click add more if I'd like to add additional questions. I can change the question order or remove questions altogether. I'll also be sure to give my assignment a name. If I would like to save my selected questions to a folder, I'll click Convert to Folder. From here, I can also assign straight away. I'll now be able to choose my settings for my assignment. This will include selecting the classroom I would like to assign it to, including students, a start date, a start time, a due date, and a time that it's due. I can also choose to set a time limit for my assignment to allow late submissions or randomize the order of questions for each student. I'll now get to decide when students have access to correct answers and feedback. If I would like to include an optional message, I can at this point. I'll now click Assign and be able to copy the link to provide to my students in their LMS.